Passover greetings from Jerusalem. It's so amazing to be walking around J-Town and seeing everybody sort of knee deep in dirt and flanked with cleaning detergent and blow torches. Yes, this is a blow torch. We own one just for this week because we're all sort of tinkling with this communal ritual of house cleaning, house cleaning. And uh, it's actually really, really profound, really symbolic. Of course, I'm a psychotherapist, so I, I just jump immediately to um, the metaphor, really, of cleaning our houses, which is cleaning our relationships, cleaning our family dynamics, really starting these massive sort of social revolutions for change, which is what Moses did, which is what the Hebrew did, Hebrews did, but they did it in the home starting first inside, internally. The sages tell us that the women were the ones who brought about the redemption of the Hebrews from Egypt. So the first women that we see in the Exodus story are Shifra and Pua, these hardcore mischievous midwives who sort of stand up against Pharaoh's decree of killing, slaughtering babies. And they stand up against him and they say, no, there's this fabulous midrashic tale about Pharaoh sending out his guards to capture the women. They're running through the streets and they sort of sneak into this house to hide and God creates a miracle for them. And God makes them into the very beams of the home that they're sitting in. The guards rush in and they're looking everywhere for the women and of course they can't find them because they're nowhere except for the fact that they're everywhere because they are the very beams of this structure, the very fortifications of the home which is just this perfect metaphor for, for feminine work, for how we bring redemption through starting within, through starting within the home and the family dynamic and the nurturing of children and of relationships, how to speak to each other, how to be at peace with one another. So these midwives, of course we know, they're also known to be the mother and sister of Moses the sort of the, you know, the leader of this social revolution and the bringing down of a world order of slavery, Moses is nurtured, of course, by, in the home, by these holy women. So I bless us that this Passover, we should not just be cleaning our houses, cleaning our kitchens with a vengeance, but cleaning our family dynamics, our relationships, the way that we speak and treat each other. Here's a little spoken word in the voice of Pua, the midwife, calling for inner peace. Like freedom fighters who pray with their feet, I protest for inner peace. For me, freedom fighting is not political. That task is for a hardier class of Jewish girl. For me, the Egyptian fiend is personal. For the pharaohs I dethrone rule the halls of each of our homes in the inner alcoves of a private despair that petrifies children and paralyzes parents, shackling our finest hours of commitment and contentment. I prefer to peddle wares of wars well avoided, where everyone wins through carefully worded apologies between friends. For cowering beneath the pyramids of needs, my fiends are the inner menaces of insecurities, the tears of teens and toddlers and all too common household hollers. My enemies crouch beneath the crumbs on the carpet, a beast between the sheets of a cold-shouldered bedroom where partners sleep unconscious and deeply out of tune with the exquisite symphony of their common dreams. What we need are a hundred thousand Moseses of relational redemption who will stand strong in the face of a sink full of grimy resentments. And so I call forth all fellow freedom fighters for inner peace, toting infants, touting Torahs, holding pins, all parefooted protesters come and herald in emotional freedom from the pharaonic foes and let us birth our children into peaceable homes. For when our homes enshrine tranquility, then outer world will follow inner lead, and rock hard hearts will soften grips, and all that's enslaved will lightly slip into the soft of freedom found, and take off your shoes to walk around. For here in our homes is the hollowed ground from which God speaks. Your very oven is a burning bush. Hear its call, feel its heat, agitate for inner freedom as you clean your home and cleanse your speech. And only then will you really begin to pray with your feet. <laughs>